Backstage now, Lollapalooza with Jeremy and Ben from hockey. You guys are back once again, second year in a row playing Lollapalooza. Tell me a little bit about how that came to be. Uh, we think it's because we got uh, a shortened set last year because the power went out on us um, during our second song. Uh, I think we were like maybe the first band on the first day. We were on before noon. We had a really good crowd and then uh, it started to rain and the whole PA went out on us. and. Yeah, that was it. I yeah. think we played like two songs and it was over. So a little different though this year. You guys come back and a little more popular now. You're not playing at 11:30 in the morning. Yeah, this year. we got it moved back a little bit. So. Yeah, that's cool. Are you yeah. excited about? Yeah, the opportunity to play for obviously a bigger base of people here. Yeah, yeah, and Chicago's always been like very. Um, I don't know. Like there's a real music appreciation here. Yeah. It's like they're on your side before you start playing. Yeah. You know, instead of the other way around. It's different in different places, but that's the I Chicago way. That about Chicago. We've been through here maybe like three times in the last year or something, and it's always they're really good to us. I don't know if it's residual like from that last year's show. You know, just one. To... I mean, Lola Blues probably has something to do with making the Chicago music yeah. scene great, but obviously it's. A big city, you know, a big art scene, a big music scene. Yeah. I mean, what are the specific differences you see in Chicago versus other cities? I don't feel like there's any pretentiousness that you find maybe on one of the coasts or any of that. People are, although it's a giant city, although there's tons of art and culture and music, people are very down to earth, they're friendly, they're, they act like where they're just so into having you there, like you're going to play music for them, that's so great. Yeah. Other towns, London, New York, LA, they can be a lot more difficult. So, how do you think? How do you think that translates into this weekend? It makes this festival a little different than other festivals you've played in other cities. Well, maybe the enthusiasm. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, usually when it gets down to it, all people when it comes to the festivals, they're usually throwing down their. Uh, you know, people get down to business yeah. usually. Because well, the people who thing. go yeah. to festivals are usually like, you know, it's like if someone's going to camp out, yeah, like, you know, it's a certain kind of person who yeah. wants to have fun. You know, why would you here all day? You, uh, yeah, why would you bring a lug of tent into the country or something if you wanted to just. Well, summer and music obviously go hand in hand. So you guys right. been on tour for most of it. So what's, what's your favorite memory of the summer so far? This summer? Yeah, this summer. Um, what have we done this summer? A lot of good memories. It's been a good summer, actually, compared to last one, I think. Yeah. Um, I don't know. We, we spent like a week, a week and a half, like in the woods in upstate New York, doing nothing in between these like two trips to England. Um, that was cool. What else? Uh, Isle of Wight was really fun. Yeah. We played the main stage at Isle of Wight earlier in the summer. Yeah. Um, was that Jay Z? It was Jay Z a, headline yeah. that night. Yeah. yeah. So that that was one of the biggest crowds yeah. we ever played for. That was really cool. Yeah. Really cool. Who, who else was on that stage with you guys between you and Jay Z? Um, who Florence else played? Florence and the Machine. Yeah. I want to see her. She's right? good. Yeah. We just did another uh, yeah. show with her. Um, what was that one? Latitude yeah. Festival. Yeah. Yeah. She's terrific. Yeah. She's really really good. Really cool. And 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 one more thing is we just talked a few minutes ago about how there's so many returning acts here. It's weird. Like you get into the, I guess you become a part of the Lollapalooza brand, so to speak. And it seems like uh, they favor their own. They bring back, they, they make the, I mean, you said, you know, I played at 11, or, you know, we played at 11.30 last year, and now we're playing later in the afternoon. And it kind of, as your career progresses, it seems like you progress with Lollapalooza, too. I mean, we're going to see Green Day later today, who played, who opened, a, or was second on in, like, 1994 or something, wow. you know. And Lady Gaga, who went from a side stage in 07 last night headlining. And, you know, what do you think of being a part of that Lollapalooza brand? And as your career evolves, getting a, a bigger slot, on the Lollapalooza yeah. stage, you know? Prestigious. That's just, like, um, so amazing to be counted in that, to be invited back, play more than once. Right. Um, it's but, awesome. And, but the loyalty that this show seems to have to the groups that have played it in the past, yeah. I guess. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of support for people coming back. Like, we could disappear for a couple of years and come back, and people would remember that we had been here. Right. Uh, I just saw some little kids running around with homemade Lollapalooza shirts. The first name on there is Devo, then us, <laughs> then Green. Green day. <laughs> hey, you gotta love it. You gotta love the variety and the diversity. And, and we're looking at your show later on this afternoon. Can't wait. Thanks for being back at Lollapalooza this year. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Man. Hey, this is Ben from Hockey. And this is Germ from Hockey. And you're listening to East Village Radio.